Hello lovely people, you all are once again most welcome to your very own channel, Tutorials Point. Yes, we've been learning abundant vocabulary, we've been learning a variety of different words, but today I chose for you some really interesting words, some really interesting, a class of vocabulary which is really interesting. Now what's that? Of course, you read it right on the screen. It is fun and interesting shoe style vocabulary. Well, we all love to shop different, you know, so many different shoes. We just love to choose a different shoe for every different dress, don't we? Especially if you're a woman, you would love to do that, don't you think so? Again, um, not trying to sound way too, um, you know, gender biased or something, but yes, I have usually seen my women friends, my, you know, female friends way more attracted to shoes or footwear compared to the male friends. So yes, in my experience, that's what I found out. But yes, we all love to shop different uh, shoes. And in this video, I'm going to share with you. Yes, we do shop, but what is the name of this variety of shoe that we are buying? Well, let's go ahead and see what is this fun and interesting different shoe style vocabulary. Okay, here's presenting to you. So the first one is this style of uh, footwear is called as gladiator sandals. Yes, probably driving its name from um, maybe the movie or something is what I guess. But yes, if you have this multi strapped sort of a long high ankle footwear, this is called as a gladiator sandal. Yes, this heel, which is slightly shorter, is called as a kitten heel. Now, why called as a kitten heel? Well, that is because usually it was referred to as um, small heels for girls who are getting prepped up to wear the big heels for the cat walk. So yes, the younger and the smaller version is called as the kitten heels. Yes, this one, which we all love to wear no matter how much pain or discomfort it might just cause us but yes we all love to wear it in spite of all the discomfort is called as the stiletto and I think most of us have heard about it and yes we cannot resist wearing it well this one which has a transverse strap mostly around um, you know the ankle it could be around the ankle it could be somewhere in the front also well this is called as the mary jane platform and why platform because of course you can see these big chunkies around well so this strap this transverse strap style is called as a mary jane uh, style so be it in a flat be it in a platform be it in a heel this transverse strap style which you observe here this is called as a Mary Jane. So it's, this is a Mary Jane platform. Yes, this is called as a sling back. And I think it does make sense if we call it a sling back. Why? Because of course it's like sort of you have a back restraint and you, um, you slide in your foot inside it. So the one which has a sort of a back buckle is called as a sling back. Yes, this again, I think needless to explain, peep toe. Why is it called a peep toe? Of course, because it has one very small window right in the front, um, right at the apex, wherein from where your toe comes out, it might, uh, you know, like I find it very uncomfortable, but I can't resist wearing it because it is so very stylish. Okay, this one is referred to as a wedge. Um, far comfortable version i think we all would agree to it so yes these heels which are in the form of a wedge and i'm sure we all know what a wedge is so this is called as a wedge and these most comfortable such a delight um, for our foot such a delight for our feet actually are referred to as sandals the most comfortable one if you want to go for long walks, if you want to go out for, um, uh, you know, your if your work is very hectic and you got to stand up for long hours, well, in that case, this is the best thing to wear. And yes, I love them too. Sandals. Belly flat. Well, of course, um, very much in trend, very comfortable, very sweet looking, lovely to wear. These are called as belly flats because probably they derive their name from the ballet dancers who probably wear this type of shoes while they do their ballet dance. So yes, this is called as a belly flat. 
these uh, sort of pumps, very comfortable, very formal looking, very smart looking, are called as moccasins. Men and women, both of them wear it and yes, different styles, different colors, a variety of them, you can find them in the market. These are moccasins. This is called as a chunky. Now, why a chunky? Because it's like a whole sort of a block heel thing. Uh, there's a lot of platform in it. So that's why it is called as a chunky. This one is called as a bow sandal. Yes, another very elegant, very decent um, style which we all love to wear is your bow sandals wherein you have a, a middle sort of a strap a v sort of a strap which um, deviates right which starts right from the thumb um, and then it radiates backwards towards your ankle this is called as a bow sandals and yes um, very very graceful very elegant simple yet stylish looking and of course needless to say very comfortable well, the vocabulary doesn't just end here because there are so many shoes which we all love to wear. So yes, here's the next one. This is called as an ankle strap. And again, I think very self-explanatory. Why called as an ankle strap? Because you have a strap right around the ankle. And this one is called as a T-strap. Again, self-explanatory. Why a T-strap? Because the strap here is more so in the form of a T. This is called as a mule, this sort of a sandal. Now, why is it called a mule? Well, that is because mules actually have no back constraint, right? So if you observe here, any footwear which doesn't have a back constraint is called as a mule, right? So yes, another, another form. Yes, we do love to wear it. It's called as a mule. Now, what is a clog? This is called as a clog. Usually clogs um, refer to those sort of footwear wherein the sole is made of wood so if the sole is made of wood that footwear would be called as a clog so yes um here it looks like wood i'm not sure if it is but yes do remember that the sole which is made of wood a footwear which has a sole made of wood is called as a clog okay well simple flip-flop slippers yes the most comfy style which could actually we could use it day in day out maybe sometimes we even feel so comfortable that we wear it to the office though it not it's not very formal to wear it to the office but yes if your office is generous enough uh, so yes the most comfortable style is your slippers now this as i told you with a transverse buckle is called as a mary jane this is again a mary jane because it has though it is a flat one so it's a flat mary jane this is your slip on another delight for your foot very comfortable you can walk long long hours wearing a slip on and yes it is going to make you feel heavenly along with making you feel very, very stylish well the last one that i chose for you is your jelly shoe why call it jelly shoe of course just look at it it just looks so plastic it's made of plastic and it's sort of transparent and um, that sort of material um, if a footwear, if your footwear is made that with that sort of a material, it, is, it would be called a jelly shoe. So a transparent sort of a plastic material is called as your jelly shoe. Well, I am sure this would have been very new for you all. It was new for me. So it would have added a lot to your existing vocabulary. Um, keep learning with tutorials, point and tutorials. Peace out. I will see you again.